Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another Steven Universe video. Leaks, 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 leaks. What else is new? I mean, if you've been in the Steven Universe fandom long enough, well, yeah, you know, this happens all the time. And what makes this particularly worse is that this was actually official. Like, this came from an official source. I, do, I wouldn't even call this a leak. Just spoilers. It's, it's like when Tom Holland spoils Infinity War. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um but for now for those of you who don't want to know the spoilers. Um why would you click on the video? But but don't worry, don't go yet, don't go yet. Because I'm not talking about them yet. We will we will get to them. But I'm going to hold it off for a little bit cuz there's a few things I want to talk about spoiler culture wise and all that jazz. So stick around for a little bit because honestly you may want to expose yourself to the spoilers, especially if you're active enough in the fandom. It may just be better. I, I, I'm going to say hold off for a few days. Hold off because I don't know what's going to happen on in the May 7th episode. That's in a few days, less than a week. Maybe something will come from that. But I don't know, and if nothing that relates to this does... Well, then you may want to just expo expose yourself because it's going to be easier. Let's be honest here. You don't have to constantly be watching your back. You don't just have to, especially if you're active in the fandom, you don't just have to avoid it like the plague. You can actually, like, enjoy stuff still. Because how I wanted to do this, I was actually going to make a script for this video. I actually did. I wrote two scripts because usually I don't do scripted stuff. Usually I just do off-the-cuff talking like I am right now. But when it came to making this video, I was like, no, I need a script statement. Well, not a statement, but I wanted something more tangible to talk about. Because usually in this video, I just go on and ramble and crazy rampades. And that's what's going to happen here, so I apologize in advance. But I wrote a script talking about how spoilers aren't that bad. And that's what, that's what the first half of this video is going to be before we get into the actual spoilers. I don't think they're that bad. But then I just wasn't happy with the script, so I wrote a new one, stayed up all night... And the new script was kind of looking at both points of view, and I wasn't happy with it either. So now I'm just going to record something off the top of my head and hope it makes more sense than both of those things that I actually wrote down and had solid argue and ha not solid, but I had arguments for. So yeah, God, I hope this isn't a train wreck. Apologies in advance. So spoilers. I don't actually think spoilers are the end of the world. I. Honestly, this leak, spoiler, and again, I, when I say leak, I use giant-ass quotes. I don't think this is the end of the world. Like, I think Skyward Wings video was like, they've ruined Steven Universe. That was his title, Massive Leak. They've ruined it or some crap like that. And I, I don't think that. No, this is not the end of Steven Universe. There's still, there's still more, and... I, 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 don't, I think people are blowing this way out of proportion in some ways. In some ways, they are totally right. In other ways, no, no. I, I'm actually... I know this... Sh I, th I do think, in theory, this shouldn't have happened, but it did, and there's no going back from here. There really is. So, the actual leak itself. Normally, normal, there's this giant leak culture around Steven Universe because leaks and spoilers and all that jazz have become a big thing. It's been here... Um, honestly, I can think, as long as I've been talking about the show for over two years now, that's just a part of Steven Universe. That's how this show works. And it's sad, but that's where we're coming from. Like, there's all these leaks about the next two episodes. I haven't seen any of them, admittedly. Because normally, I'm able to avoid this stuff. I'm not active in the fandom. This is literally my only interaction with the fandom I get. So, normally, that's not a problem. And if it wasn't for the fact that I follow Skyward Wing on Twitter, I don't really watch his videos. That's just... I have nothing inherently against him. It's just... Eh. Eh. Well, I could do a Skyward Wing rant another day. It's... He, he's fine. He's As a person, he's fine. I have no I have no quarrel with him whatsoever. And besides, I'm a small-tier YouTuber who gives a shit. But if it wasn't for his tweet, I, I would say I probably wouldn't have found out, but that's actually a lie because uh, Single did a video on it. I'll put a link. She's one of my favorites. A biased opinion. One of my favorites. And she does stuff in the fandom. She does animatics, animation, all that. I'll put a link in the description. Go check her out. She's pretty great. I'll, I'll, uh, she's one of my favorites. Just biased opinion. So I probably would have found out either way just because of how big this leak is. But even still, once I found out from Twitter on Skyward Wing... 
I purposefully went out of my way to expose myself to the spoiler. In his video, he avoids it, which is kind of what I'm trying to do right now. But I went out of my way to find it because so how this happened was it was in the Drawn Together podcast, which I remember actually seeing on Twitter a few days ago. I remember them talking about it or something. And inherently, I think this is a good idea, an idea, a podcast about them going behind the scenes of animation. I know they did one about behind the scenes of Steven Universe. That's an inherently fine idea. And this first episode's on Steven Universe and OKKO. OK it's fine. They actually have, in the like 24 hours since the thing went up, they have taken it down with the leaks and posted up a new version with images from previous episodes. So, if you do find it interesting, yeah, go watch it. I inherently i don't care i mean i'm the type of guy where i don't care how the sausage gets made i just like what i like i mean just up until a few weeks ago i didn't even know if darren nefesi was a girl or a guy that's how little i care in steven universe i knew rebecca sugar and lauren zooks i couldn't tell you a single other writer on the show just because i don't it's it's not what bothers me but in, inherently this is i think this podcast is a good idea I can totally see how it inspires people, how people can find it interesting. So go check. Now that there's a non-spoilery leak version up, go go check it out. Sure, it's pretty good. It's only a few minutes. It's, yeah, that's not a bad idea. And I mean, I was a easily able to get into it more than I was the official Steven Universe podcast. Again, nothing inherently against it. Well, kind of. <laughs> but spoiler culture. So, the end of the world, no. No, this is... Because... Inherently, there's a, uh, another thing to go check out in the description. There's a study by the University of California, I think. You can, again, all my facts are in the source and I'm doing this off my head. It, where they looked at spoiler culture and they, they, they took people and had them read books. And then had them rank it. And then they took different people and gave them like a spoiler. They were like, they were like telling them about the book and it had a spoiler in it. And then had them read it and then rate it. And they found that people who had the spoiler enjoyed the book more. That's, it's an interesting thing. And that's kind of how I've always perceived it is spoilers are at the end of the world. But at the same time, I also think Infinity War just came out this week. I'm not going to spoil Infinity War. I actually have a video up on my second channel about that. Go check that out. That should be out sometime today or tomorrow. And Infinity War, I was actually worried about spoilers for I'll admit that, so I can see the other side of the coin, because you can only ever experience something once, and these leaks are taking away your first experience of it, they're putting them in a new light, a context you may not like, so I get that, I get why that's a bad thing, why people, maybe you want to preserve your official experience, that's something I can get behind. But I don't think this is the worst thing ever. And I mean, leaks aren't always the worst thing in the world. I mean, I feel like we're just blowing this way out of proportion. That this is the end of the world, Steven Universe spoilers. We've ruined everything. No, no, we haven't. There, The problem is there's so little context here that this could go any number of ways. Who knows what's going to happen from here on out. And that's the thing. Maybe, well... I can see why you don't want to spoil yourself. Maybe you should. Maybe It's just going to be so hard to avoid. Things are going to be so complicated from here on out. There's so many ways you could take this. Just just be careful. Just I, I don't think it's that bad, but I can totally see how you may have a different per perspective. Also, before we get into it, one last thing. Uh, channel update. Just um, March 7th video. That'll obviously come in. I'm working on rerun reviews, and I'm working on a top 10 list. With that, spoilers. So big spoiler warning, just big, put this up, blast. If you don't give it, if you especially want to avoid it, yeah, avoid it. If, depending on what happens on the seventh episode, maybe come back, maybe don't. I'll talk about it in my review. So on to the actual leaks. The first one is them underwater. It's Steven and Amethyst underwater, and they're looking for something. Steven's calling out. We don't have the context for this. Who knows what this means? This could be anything. In one hand, I'm thinking Lapis just because of inherent water. And also, this part is my, be, both looking at the images, but also kind of giving my predictions and context and whatnot. So just keep that in mind. That's what I'm going to be doing here. But on the other hand, I'm kind of thinking, is this a traditional gym mission? You know, where we're fighting giant monsters like we used to do. 
and which I think the last one was the first episode of season four. I don't think we've done it since. Well, that would be interesting. Again, I'm, I, I, I think we're in Endgame, and I hope we are, but god damn it, the show really doesn't want that. I, I don't know why, but eh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. The next image show, we see Ruby, presumably our Ruby, on a horse in Western gear. Okay, that's that's neat. I, I think this is neat. The, the horse has a gym, though. I wonder what that means? I have no idea, but okay, if we're doing a theme map, sure, sure. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm inherently on board with this, sure. Actually, it is our Ruby because of the two ribbons going out the back. That's, yeah, yeah. And then the vans behind them, okay, sure. I'm Western, what, this could be leading somewhere. I have no idea. I, your, your best idea is as good as mine. And there's also one of Amethyst in the helicopter, but no matter how hard I look, I can't find it. Well, Stephen writing Hellcat, whatever you know what I mean. That's I, I I'll, I'll I'll keep looking on it while I'm editing, but I just cannot find it anywhere. And our last one is this. This is one last spoiler warning. This is end game. Just just know that this is big, and I still I get it. I get why people don't want to be spoiled. I yeah yeah. So we see Stephen. We see it's Beach City. It's the gym's house. Blue diamonds off to one side, yellow diamonds off to another. The house is destroyed. Like, a piece of blue diamond's ship has fallen through the house. And Steven's holding blue diamond. Okay, I get why people are in some way freaking out. Because, okay, this is big. Yellow and blue diamond being there, that's big. But, I... I mean, weren't we all kind of... I, I mean, I know I've been predicting this ever since... Maybe even Blue Diamond's arc, the zoo arc. I've always said Blue Diamond's going to get a redemption. That's what's going to happen. Well, I honestly, she's kind of already redeemed. It's just the others need to accept her, right? And I've always, I've always knew this, known this was inevitable. Yellow Diamond being there is an actual surprise. I get why people. That's big. Blue Diamond. Okay, we. I, I've seen this coming. That was inevitable. Yellow Diamond, though, that's more confusing. So does that mean White Diamond's our final boss? Probably. Because I I always assumed Yellow Diamond was kind of... Not beyond redemption. Nothing's beyond redemption. But, yeah. And then she Blue Diamond puts Steven down and Bismuth's there. I've, I've also said this before. I, I, I must have... Some of these things that I say, I'm pretty sure I've said in videos. But... I may not have, but I've always said Bismuth was going to come back because that makes sense, right? I mean, she's even though she doesn't like Steven, she's not inherently evil. So, yeah, no, she's going to come back and help, and that, that, I've always seen this coming. That's that's no surprise to me. Um, Garnet's wedding ring, that's that's interesting. I, I, I like that detail. But yeah, what the, the problem with the scene... Okay, yes, it's big and spoilery. But at the same time, we have no context for this. What does this mean? How we? How did we get here? That's the thing. I, it's not about the end of the road. It's not about oh, this is our. It's it's not about the destination. It's the journey that matters. I'm curious to see how we got from where we are to this point. That's what I'm really interested in, especially when it comes to Yellow Diamond. Of course, does this kind of suck? Because in some ways, we'll never be like. If you did get the spoilers, if you're watching this right now, you'll never be able to experience this again fresh as if you'd never seen it. Yes, and I, I get where you're coming from if you, you have that viewpoint. Totally. But, I also... I, it's not about the destination. It really... I This is this is spoiler-tastic, and I do see why people are freaking out. But does this ruin the show? No, no, because that's not what... Yes, okay, this is interesting, but I still, I want to know how we get here. Something, especially Yellow Diamond, something big has to happen. But I'm just repeating myself. And that, that's it. Um, um, it's, it is interesting. It, I'm really, I, I'm actually more, this actually makes me more interested in the show now than I was before. Because the last bomb, or whatever the hell we called it, the last four episodes, kind of sucked. They, they weren't the worst thing ever. I've seen worse episodes of shows, but... Nah, I mean, they're just kind of wasting our time. So, hopefully, assuming this is... 
getting near the end of the season, maybe we'll finally, stuff will start happening again. And I really do, especially with a new episode, hopefully shit will happen, hopefully characters will start li stop lying to us, god damn it. And maybe, and the, the other interesting thing is, this may come even before the end of the season. Like, a lot of people are saying, oh, this is the end of the season five. What if this happens before? Because, I mean, again, I don't keep up with the culture, but last I heard, season five was the last season. I know they are in talks about getting a sixth season, but, yeah. And I just, you either end like Gravity Falls or live long enough to see yourself become The Simpsons. I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. But yeah, that's that's everything that happened. Um, I probably unless something big happens again, I probably won't do another video like this, and I'll just continue to enjoy the show. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully, I won't have to do a video like this again. Who knows at this point? But I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for the review next week, just to date the video. If it's next week, the review's already out. Hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.